Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Divine Journey 2. So here we are in episode 3, and uh, you can see that I made a little cobblestone hut for myself. Uh, yeah, off camera I moved my base, and I had this whole cobblestone hut. Got my chest, got some more materials here. Um, I went and got some golden stuff. Uh, I don't think I got too much off camera, but there's a stupid monster outside making some noise. Oh. I'm okay. I'm not go- wait. Hold on, this is my time to test something here. Are you gonna hurt me? No? Okay. So I guess they're friendly. Okay, anyway, uh, let's get back to the quest book then, shall we? Uh, oh. Yeah, got diamond. Can't get that yet. Uh, what would this be useful for? I don't know. I'm just gonna pick one, I guess. Okay, so I want to get the smeltery going. So let's start with a controller. We are gonna need seared bricks and redstone, right? And I did smell a lot of seared bricks off camera. Okay, you know what? Uh, there we go. Okay, there is a muffler in this pack. How bad is it? Stone burnt. Oh, come on. Oh. That's bogus. Okay, whatever. I'll just deal with it for now. Wait, I needed how much again? Um... Okay, yeah, so four brooks. Gotcha. There we go. Okay, now we need to get a block of redstone. And a butt boom. Yay, the core of the smeltery. Okay, so let's just put... Actually, we'll keep that in my inventory. Okay, so next... We're going to need... Actually, let's go with this first so sear drain is okay bricks and a faucet so we're gonna need two faucets i think okay so there's that one faucet and sear drain okay so block block it and do 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 do. There we go. Oh no, it's leaking. Oh, so we get more faucets and channels. Interesting. Oh, you know what? Let's go. Let's go faucets. Yeah. Okay. Next, blub blob it says the molten metal when it's being poured into a casting basin, which you need to craft to complete this quest. Right. So we get a timer and red alloy wire. So that'll be useful for the, um, for automating the smeltery. Okay, cauldron. Right, so we're gonna need iron plates, right? And that means that we need to make an iron hammer. I kind of peeked at this last night, but I didn't get into the episode. So uh, we're doing that now. So a hammer is as you'd expect, sticks and iron. So let's get that crafted up here. Bada boom. There we go. So we're gonna need a sizable amount of iron, aren't we? Okay. Oh. Uh, that was weird. I did. I saw my character like jump up a bit. Wasn't sure what to make of that. Oh wait a minute. Oh here we go. Okay, there's a cauldron. And to go from there, we need the two bricks, the two brick blocks, that is. And bada boom. Okay. Timer and red alloy, sweet. And finally, the casting table, which, oh, look at that. We get pickaxe head and a tool rod cast. And also an ingot cast, I suppose. So that's pretty cool. 
Um, what does it normally take to make this? Oh yeah, it's gold or brass or aluminum brass. How did that go again? Alloying, aluminum. Oh, right. Copper and aluminum. That's right. It's coming back to me now. Okay. So let's get that table then, shall we? So we're going to need another iron plate. Okay. Now, once we get the smeltery going, we're going to be able to double our ore. So that's going to be pretty nice. Uh, da, 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 da. I should have just put the stupid, uh, there we go. But there we go. Bada boom. There we go. And, oh, wait a minute. We don't get all of them. Okay. I guess I'll go with the ingot cast. Okay. So we are still going to make, need to make these two things. Pink, maybe. Alu, might. Uh, use lava buckets on smeltery drains to insert lava into your smeltery. All right. Alu, might. Oh, man. It's been a while since I messed with this. That was aluminum, iron, and obsidian. Okay, so I need to go find aluminum, which I know we have um, in the caves below. Meantime, though, I think we can get our smelt, our smeltery going. What is going on with the server? Okay, it's fine, I guess. Uh, get that drain. Uh, did I have any more seared bricks in here? Why do I feel like I'm not going to be able to make a big smeltery? Here, I can fix this. So let's put some in there. Oh, wait a minute. Do I need more mini coal? I got coal. Ah! Wait a minute. I forgot the mouse wheel isn't effective in this mod pack. Okay. Uh, some go in there. Some. Oh, split that. Some go in there. And bada boom. Okay, so what I was thinking, uh, well, first I need a pickaxe, is I want to kind of incorporate the smeltery into my base here. This is probably kind of dangerous digging at night. Okay, so let's see. I think. I think I want to do the controller here, the tank here, the spout here, and I'm probably going to need to open this a little bit more. Okay. Now, if memory serves, I'm going to have to make a basin like so. Okay. Oh, okay. I thought I heard footsteps. Okay. So I'm not shy by too much. I need one, two, five more bricks. Ideally, though, I want to go as high as possible. Well, I mean, not as possible. I want to get at least too high. Like, you know, numerically too blocks high there we go okay so that is the beginning of our smeltery now and you can see it's lit up here which is a good sign this is our like our little inventory where you put uh, ores or materials and this tells us how many ingots that we can hold in uh yeah in terms of like uh middle buckets 10 buckets oh, okay and there's our fuel. So we did get a bucket of lava. So let's go ahead and drop that in there. It might be a good idea to go and get some more lava too. So more buckets will be good to have. Right. 
Um, okay, so here's our spout, right? We want to put one here and one there. And that goes there. And our basin will go there. So this way, if we <clears throat> if we need to smell only one ingot worth, we can just have it go in there. Or alternatively, when we make other casting parts, we can pour it into the mold. Right, so we still need to make a, 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 a um, I don't want to say the wrong thing or the inappropriate thing. Where was that quest? Okay, tool rod, the tool rod cast and the pick head, pickaxe head cast. Those. So we're going to need aluminum brass, right? And we need to pour that over, I think, a tool part. Okay, it could be flint, it looks like. Now, we need to make the mold, or the... Um, we need to make the blank patterns first, right? Because that's how we're going to make a mold. We pour aluminum brass over... A piece of cobble or flint. I think it's flint that we are able to use right off the bat. Okay, so we're going to need blank patterns first. <clears throat> so that's... Oh, wow, that's expensive. So how many we need? We need eight pieces of... Eight pieces of iron and some wood. Okay. So... Okay, we have iron. We need the wood. There, there we go. Get a couple of sticks. Get our blank pattern. Oh. oh, because of the wood. Okay. Wait, why is it do? Wait, what? Oh, did I underestimate how much wood I had? Okay. Uh, but, 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 do I have an axe? Okay, there we go. Ah, <clears throat> uh, you know what? Before I go out. Okay, I had to make sure I had some iron. Okay, so why don't I just go out here, go out here. And there's a tree. Got to chop down some wood here. And uh, you know what? Why don't I just go ahead and get some more wood? I will cut here. Oh, I will cut here and I will come back. What the hell? And uh, we'll get around to... The patterns we were crafting. All right, uh, back a bit. Okay, <clears throat> I wasn't gone long. So uh, here we go. We have our eight patterns. Yay! Patterns. Okay, and we get more patterns. How convenient. So now we can get to making the tool table. So the tool station is not different than what I remember. So we're gonna need a crafting table. Okay, that's somewhat different, or I don't remember it exactly. That's still not different. Okay, so most of these recipes are the same as I remember them being. Uh, I haven't touched uh, Tinker's Construct in some, like, few years now at this point. Oh, I need to eat... What's this? Oak apple gall? Nothing that I can use right now. Wait, can I smelt this and get better cooking? I don't see any smeltery recipe or furnace recipe, so I'll just eat it. Ooh, me. Okay. So, okay, I think I'm probably going to move these tables because there was a certain way I would place these. But uh, let's get to making the rest of the parts first, then, shall we? Oh, wait, that's not right. Okay, there we go. Stencil table. Uh, heart chest. There we go. Oh, uh, I need a chest. Okay, do I have any? Okay, I guess not. I gotta make a 
Nuggies. Okay, chest. Part chest. There we go. And put that there. And now for the tool station. Yeah, I think. Okay, so we'll put that there. There we go. Tool station. Okay, tool seven. Huh. I'm not sure what that means or if that's a reference to something. Okay, I'm just going to clean my inventory up a bit here. Okay. Now, we are going to come over here and we're going to put the stencils in there. Now we have this big old UI interface here, which if we click one of these, you can see that we get a pattern, right? So we want to get a pick head, pick axe head, and a tool rod, like so. Come over here, right? And do I have any flint? Okay, I don't. Can you make flint? Yes, you can. Do I have gravel? Some. Okay. There we go. <clears throat> Material value to flint. Do I need more? There we go. So here's a tool rod. Now we are going to need more flint. So let's get some shovels. Try and go find some gravel real quick. Nothing in there. Uh, wasn't there a river? Oh, behind us. Okay, so let's go get some more gravel real quick. Okay, I don't want to go down there. How much gravel do I grab? Okay, eight. Not a great amount. I got some. Also getting more flint in the process, so that's nice. Just like, you know, from RNG drop rates, that is. Uh, come on, where's the gravel at? Knowing me, I'm probably just impatient and not looking for it just right. There is a silverwood tree. That is something from days past. That is, <clears throat> is going to be useful for thalmcraft. Okay. That should be enough for now. So we'll grab our flint. There we go. Now, come back over here. Put the pick head cast back in. And there we go. So if I'm not mistaken, a pick head... A uh, pick is going to require... another cast i don't think we need to melt anything for a cast i believe it can just be whatever like flint or cobble for example but it can't be cobble that's a question cobble 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 okay maybe that will work i hope it's it will work okay good great so let me then, then, oops, not that. Put all of these bad part, well, hello? Um, the part chest doesn't seem to want to work. Or I'm missing something. Okay, let me just do this then. Okay. Do we have... I don't think we did grab any aluminium. No. Okay. So, let's go and pick some up then. Because I want to get a better pickaxe. And there should be some down here somewhere close. Yeah, there we go. Aluminium. 
Okay. Actually, yeah, let's go back home. Okay, so for aluminium, if I can spell correctly, uh, that's not what I wanted. Okay, molten alu aluminum. So that is going to be three parts aluminum, one part copper. Okay, so... Let's see if I can do this right. Theoretically, this should work. So there is the aluminum. That is going to double to two ingots because we put in three ore and that doubled. So now we have six ingots of aluminum. Right? Uh oh. What was that blue? Okay. Uh, oh, it's uh, melting, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. It's never, it's not instantaneous anymore. I mean, it hasn't been instantaneous for some time now, but yeah. So if we wanted to, we could put the aluminum brass on the bottom just by clicking it. But now we have completely aluminum there. So we're going to grab this, pour that over that. Let it cool down. Pour another one. Huzzah! Okay. So we have the casts for a pickaxe. Now we wanted to get an alumite pick head i believe right alumite there it is pink okay so we needed uh let's see obsidian iron and the aluminium okay so it's five two two ratio here so we have obsidian let's just put like all of it in it shouldn't be a big deal right now and then, like, what? Two parts of iron? Okay. And this alternative... Not alternatively. This additionally will make mining a lot better. A, because it will last longer. And B, we can make it last longer. And give it all sorts of fun little uh, enchantments. Or so to speak. Tinker... Uh, da, 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 da. I'm just trying to think. Normally, you get a book to tell you how to make certain enchantments with tinkers. Don't think I got that. Is there a book in here? Oh boy, I can't even imagine finding it. Uh, let's see. Pick axes. Here we go. Okay, never mind. That didn't work. Okay, is that uh, aluminium? Oh! One, two, three, four, five. I forgot that I needed aluminium in there, not aluminium brass. Okay, so there's the alumite, right? Yes. So if I'm not mistaken, I need three ingots of alumite to pour in here. It's cooling. Huzzah! Sweet. Okay, now you can automate the insertion of lava and water using fluid ducts, which you have access to right now. Oh, is that so? Okay. So... Tool 7, what does that mean? Well, it's not tool 8. Not too late to create... Uh, I don't get the joke. Uh, oh, potatoes. Right? Yeah. Uh, I can get sugarcane easily, so let's go melon. Uh, cactus or pumpkin? Cactus. Okay. Oh, and this. Mush. Oh, pattern chest is what I wanted. Not a part chest. Okay. That changes things. Uh. Where my nuggets go? 
Wait, I already have them and I just can't see it. No. Wait, did I burn all of my wood? No, there we go. Chest. Oh, wait. Oh, good. We have that feature. I mean, I'm not surprised. It's an NEI feature, I believe, or JEI, or whatever the heck it's called now. Okay. Uh, ah. Okay, there we go. There we go. Pattern chest. Okay. Now let's get rid of this doodad. Or. Okay, put that down. Now, this should hold the patterns. See, they're all in there, which means they share an inventory right here. So that's pretty sweet. Let's put that away. Okay, get that quest done. Mix up some copper from underground. Yeah, I should probably smell the copper now, right? Though, aluminium brass. Let's get the, let's get the uh, ingots out of here. Oh, you can't, you can't uh, pour out obsidian bricks. Okay. I swear that used to be a thing. should be the last no oh, one more okay there we go and the aluminium oh wait was i needing oh i need a copper use your alumite pickaxe to or excavate yeah okay so the alumite i create alumite instead of smeltery by lime obsidian and pour out some of the results into pickaxe head cast using this you can create an alumite Okay, um, iron, hold on, I want to check something, tool rod, magnetic, so that's a thing, so each tool rod or tool part has little features that add to the overall power of your item, iron has magnetic, which kind of means, well, you'll have magnetic attraction to ores, I don't know if it works on all items mined or what, but that is something to consider. Um, what is the... Okay, so a binding. Let's see, is it stone binding? I think you want stone. I'm not sure what extra does. Oh, wait, cheap cheap maybe we'll go with the stone binding just for the heck of it and an iron cast okay so we'll go th that it should be just two ingots i think oh we are coming up on the episode here so i want to get this done while that cooks let's get not that. Let's get that. Actually, what oh, does it give me? Crude. So that's a 15 durability, and that's that's 30 durability. Let's just go with that, actually. There were a lot of ins and outs of Tinker's Construct that I have just forgotten. So if anybody has any like uh, any tips or whatever. Oh, beans. <sighs> you know what? I'm just going to avoid this crap. Oh. Oh. Okay. So one ingot, I guess, equals one bucket. Okay. Let me get that. Let me get those smelts up again. Okay, so let's put that away. Wait for this to smelt back up again. 
Uh, we'll put, wait, let me do this. So boom, boom. And we need a tool rod. Yes, I know game. Come on, come on. Also I need to go get some more lava. That is for sure. Okay. Uh, get that. Boom. Ah. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Ta da! Durability 500. We can mine up to cobalt, a mining speed of 5, and attack of 5. Oh, yeah, modifiers. So we can make this quicker with redstone. <laughs> Uh, let's see really quick So you'll see if I put redstone in there the mining speed just jumps It's it will have 24 out of 50 haste and that means that we can Up to 50 put more on there and that will only use one modifier But if we go past 50, it's gonna take another modifier until we have no more modifiers left so now we have a much faster pickaxe and i need what was it 26 so look at that 8 to 11 and now we have two modifiers left if i put redstone in here it's gonna drop it down to one and it has a diminishing return on the speed actually wait okay never mind it's still pretty good if you put in like a half stack, but we're not going to do that. Um, I do want to put lapis on this. Oh, wait a minute. Didn't I want diamond? Okay, yeah, diamond doubles the durability. So we're going to go with that. That is sounding good from what I remember about Tinkers. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to call it here. I'm running late on time. And just before I go, just to give you a point of reference, I've only recorded w this first episode on this day, on day two. Um, probably going to wait till tomorrow to record some more, but I wanted to get another episode ready for uh, the day this goes up. Anyway, I hope you did enjoy. I will see you all next time. Ta-ta for now.